His only content is chatting to Oprah. Harry becomes a butt of joke on air for losing another job. Prince Harry has come under scrutiny after his tell-all memoir book was delayed, raising questions about his career future. Prince Harry is lost about what he is going to do next, a comedian has claimed. Since leaving the royal family, the Duke of Sussex has been relatively in the shadow and has produced no content despite an expected Spotify podcast and a Netflix series in the works. And his highly anticipated controversial memoir book, previously due to be released later this year, could now be delayed as it failed to appear on the list of upcoming releases from his publisher. His lack of activity over the last few months has prompted widespread speculations over what he is going to do. When asked whether Harry can effectively leave the royal family completely, comedian Diane Spencer told GB News, I don't think he knows what he wants at all. And I'm not surprised that they haven't announced this book because they're supposed to be doing a podcast on Spotify. They're supposed to be doing a series for Netflix. And he has failed to do any of these things. And he's supposed to be writing a book. He's producing no content whatsoever. His only content is chatting to Oprah, Ms. Spencer said, referring to the first bombshell interview he and Meghan Markle did on the Oprah Winfrey show in March 2021. Speculation about another potential interview has the royal family scared for their already damaged reputation. And that's when he does his tell-alls, which are as you said, tell some, she slashed. And they're not that good. And then Meghan's version of events, some recollections may vary. I don't think Harry actually knows what he wants now that he's been pulled out of the royal family because he's not in opposition anymore. Ms. Spencer continued, when he was in the royal family, he was like, I want to be the head guy, I want to be the thing, I want the thing. In a hilarious impersonation of Meghan Markle, she said, and so Meghan was like, let's just bust out of here, let's just bust free. And they bust free and now he's like, I don't know what to do now. Harry's new long-awaited memoir book was announced in July 2021 by publisher Penguin Random House but could be facing delays. An unnamed royal insider told The Sun on Sunday, if this book's coming out this year as originally planned it should be in the publisher's marketing and promotional list, unless they're planning a surprise or there's been a delay. In a bid to silence speculations, a spokeswoman for Trans World, part of Penguin Random House, told The Sun, we don't put every book on the list so there is nothing to be extrapolated from that. Camille, Duchess of Cornwall, is rumoured to be the subject of criticism in Harry's upcoming memoir, with friends of the Duke expecting its content to have the potential to shake the monarchy to the core. One expert even said they were quaking in their boots, since the announcement he would be writing the book came on the heels of the explosive interview Prince Harry and Meghan Markle gave to Oprah opening up about their treatment within the royal family from its other members. In particular, speculation abounded that the memoir would be very critical of Prince Charles and how he acted around Meghan. Well those nervous royals can breathe easier now that fall book announcements have come out and Harry's memoir is nowhere to be seen. Put the Daily Mail, that a mission would almost certainly not have happened if the book were really coming out in 2022 as intended. In fact, publicity around the book would have already been well underway by summer if its original timeline was on track, says the publication. The absence of any word at all, therefore, means we're looking at a publication date sometimes next year, or beyond. There was speculation earlier this year that Harry might delay the memoir from 2022 to avoid disrespecting the Queen during her Platinum Jubilee. Respecting the